Dardy from Situit. David, uh, you have the floor. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, we can hear you and see you loud and clear. Wonderful. I want to thank, first of all, all the members of the committee for this opportunity to speak. My name is David Darty, and I've lived in Situate for over 44 years. I'm a civil engineer, registered land surveyor, and a justice of the peace for over 33 years. I consider myself well informed in regards to wind turbines since I've lived in the shadow of one for 11 years. And during that time, I've avidly sought relief from the adverse effects that the turbine has caused in myself, my family, and my neighbors. I'm currently considered the neighborhood leader of 23 families who all have experienced health effects due to the close proximity of this inappropriately sighted turbine, one too close to us. Therefore, I support the passage of House Bill 3373 for the following reasons. There's no doubt that our society must change from its total dependency on fossil fuel to supply our energy needs to something less detrimental to our environment. And wind turbines for the current time seem to be an attractive alternative. But mistakes can be made. And some turbines have been constructed too close to residential areas, such as Situate, Fairhaven, Kingston, Falmouth, Plymouth, Bourne, Monroe, Florida. They go on and on. In these places, citizens have developed and suffer from health issues. But because of inadequate and ineffective noise regulations, it's become very difficult to find relief, and most of these communities and individuals resort to litigation. The end result in all of this is usually com communities and individuals are left without relief and deeply in debt. Here in the town of Situate, the selectmen have publicly acknowledged that the wind turbine that we have was built too close to a residential area, and in order to protect the residents, the selectmen have unilaterally ordered a shutdown. Unfortunately, it's significant cost to the residents because of the fines imposed upon them by the wind turbine operator. Why should the mistake of an improperly located to wind turbine result in such high penalties and costs to communities and individuals? Some time ago, Governor Baker even publicly acknowledged that the placement of the two wind turbines in Falmouth was a mistake. In a program as vast as the proliferation of wind energy, a program that has so much government support, both politically and financially, mistakes can be made. And we must have an adequate means to correct them. House Bill 3373, the Wind Energy Relief Act, does exactly that and requires no, no additional funding. It uses the funds that are already available from the Renewable Energy Trust Fund, money that everybody has paid. We've collected it as a surcharge and the power bill. It's there. It's, right now, it's given in total to the Clean Energy Commission. By using part of this money to correct the problems created by wind industry is just and appropriate. I urge the Joint Committee to support the passage of this bill. It seems obvious that we've finally come to the understanding that we can't put these things on land because there's no real place for them. We have such dense population in Massachusetts. That's why you're going to offshore. But we still have issues and problems that were caused by the ones who are close, too close to residential areas. And we have to bring financial relief to the people and the communities that are being impacted by this. And that's why, again, I support 3373. I thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please ask. Thank you, David. Thank you for your testimony. Are there any committee members uh, that have any questions for uh, David? Seeing none, I thank you for your testimony. Thank you for your commitment to this, uh, this uh, notion and this bill, and uh, look forward to hearing from you as the session progresses. I thank uh, you again. Thank you. And at this time, I'll turn the